Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in like the weirdest mood today. I'm like hyper yet exhausted. I don't really know what's going on. It is a beautiful day outside. It was supposed to be super cloudy today. So I decided to get dressed up, do my hair, the whole shebang. I'm very upset that the summer is coming to an end. There's only like four more weeks until Mike and I go to Italy and August is a great month, but also semi-depressing because we all know that the best season of them all is coming to an end. So that's where I'm at today. But today, finally, we're going to be talking about my final thoughts on all the Sephora VIB sale purchases that I made. I uploaded that video 12 weeks ago, actually, where I gave you guys like pretty much my first impression on each and every one of the products that we're gonna mention here today. I say this all the time, I can open something for the first time, absolutely fall head over heels in love with it, and then as I'm trying it in my day-to-day -day life, I either end up loving things, hating them. It is a roller coaster of emotions, but I also feel like, you know, makeup is just, the formulation is so easy to play around with that you can really make anything work for you if you know how to work it. I totally forgot like what I was talking about before that whole spiel though. Yeah, I kind of forgot what I was talking about. Um, so yeah, let's just like hop right into the video, why not? I've been using these Sephora products. Again, if you wanna see my first impressions, I will link the video up here as well as put it at the end of this video. This way you can go ahead and see how my opinion changed. I, I feel like that's what I was saying before I forgot what I was saying. But anyway, we're here. Oh wait, I have this note that I put up. I remind you guys that I am a traveling makeup artist convenience with a smiley face so if you're interested in working with me i have lessons where i teach you guys like even more tips and tricks than i teach you here on my uh youtube channel so if you like a virtual lesson with me or an in-person lesson with me where i teach you guys how to do your makeup your very own makeup or make your products work for you then check down below in the description i will leave my email address thank you post it guys i cannot live without post-its anybody else. Michael asked me to bring him socks down as I'm walking up the steps and then two minutes later when I'm walking back I forget them every time. The first product that I just want to get it out of the way because I don't want the suspense to linger here. You guys have really been asking me my thoughts on the Gucci brow pencil. It's a medium sized spoolie tapered at the end which is very important to me. I really need a tapered spoolie. Honestly I just feel you can really get in there perfect for like if you mess up I need to scrape something off after it's dried. It's just, I like a tapered spoolie. It goes a long way. It's very, very pigmented. So I personally like to use a light hand when applying this just because it can get a little bit too much quickly in my opinion. I've definitely been someone who often changes up my eyebrow routine, but I'm really loving the more like naturally filled in brows that I've been doing lately. This is gonna apply as if you were to fill in your brows with eyeshadow. So if you're someone that has done that in the past, it is the convenience of an eyeshadow in a pencil. The shading can be really beautiful depending on, again, how much you press in or how lightly you press while applying. I would spend $32 on this again, but also at the same time, I really do love my Essence Make Me Brows, just like the brow gel. Um, I've been wearing them a lot and I use two shades. I've talked about it here on my channel. I use a dark shade and a lighter shade to fill in my brows and it's one, two, three done and it kind of honestly gives me like the same effect. So if you are a babe on a budget and you think that these brows look good and you have brow hairs, because do keep in mind, when you're applying a tinted gel to your brows, there needs to be hair for the gel to adhere to. It will not adhere to your skin. They can be a little bit sp like spar, spare, spare, spare hair. No, what's the word I'm thinking of? Sparse? They can be a little sparse in certain areas, but you know, if you're someone that has a decent amount of hair like me, I think that you can get away with the same kind of look using the Essence Make Me Brow, which is $3. Um, but if you don't have hair and you want this kind of a look, then I would definitely recommend buying the pencil. Tower 28 Blush. I have the two shades, which are After Hours and happy hour. After hours is this beautiful purple shade. I love this, it is stunning. You know, you look at this and you might think, oh purple, that's not like 
that's not my kind of blush shade. I didn't think it was either, but I'm actually wearing it today, stamped into the skin using a dome brush, and it just can be so sheer, but it can also be really, really pigmented. A little goes a very long way. These are the two shades that I bought. I will definitely say After Hours is the one that I gravitate towards the most. I genuinely like use this every single day. This is what I keep in my travel makeup bag when I go to the city, when I get to the office, I just throw some on my cheeks. It makes me look refreshed. It just kind of juices up the skin and gives you that like really youthful, playful, rosy cheek. Like it's absolutely beautiful. I really love it. But another reason why I really don't gravitate towards happy hour is because it has the balls in it and when the balls in it. But when I would apply it to my cheeks, those little balls would actually press into my skin and it would make it kind of hard to blend it out. Like it wouldn't blend out evenly because those balls are like an extra bit of the product. So it would be like a little bit more pigmented. So side note, the balls are still bothering me. The balls, the balls are in the way. This also can kind of move the foundation if you have like a few layers underneath or something that's a little bit thicker. So I would just be really, really careful with this and apply it in a stamping motion when applying it. It looks okay over full coverage foundation or like a full face, but I mean, honestly, I don't think it looks as good as with a lighter foundation or no foundation at all, honestly. It's just my opinion. And they're Clean Beauty too, which I don't think I mentioned that either. So Tower 28. I wanna try more of their stuff. Also, these are for your lips as well. Sorry, I'm very scatterbrained, even though I have my notes here. Um, you can use these on your lips. I used the plum one yesterday. They aren't very long lasting. If you're gonna eat, drink, you know, it's not a matte. It's kind of just like a bomb, a tinted bomb, honestly. It really gives the look of a lip stain. I think I took some photos while wearing it, so I will go ahead and insert them. Do you see this? This is not a hickey. I wish it was a hickey. I burned my neck using my wand when I was doing my hair. And I just looked down and was like, what the hell? What attacked me? But I forgot it was the iron. Me and that iron have gotten into quite a few fights. It burned my whole hand. I wasn't paying attention. I was listening to music and curling my hair. Not that listening to music had anything to do with it. I don't know, um, but I went to go grab the handle. Instead of grabbing the handle, I grabbed the iron and I burned my entire hand. I screamed bloody murder. I scared the entire household. Well, Mike wasn't home, but Brogan, a mess. Chloe started barking automatically. It was not fun. So she got me again. Light capturing self-setting concealer. It says that it provides a natural finish, creamy concealer, medium buildable coverage. Applies like a second skin and is 12 hour crease free. Liar. I'm in shade 25 and I don't think that this is a good match for me. It's a little pink. So I feel like that might be why I kind of hate this a little bit more than one should, um, but I still do have a lot to say about it. So it doesn't have a lot of coverage. I find that it is a really thin concealer. And I think that it is so thin that there's not a lot of pigmentation to really cover up those under eyes. I am wearing it today. It sets relatively well. You have to use a very, very small amount. I have a lot of fine lines around my eyes. It does move into them. If you're doing like a full face, kind of like beat, going on a date tonight, kind of like I did today, a little goes a very long way with this product. So I only apply it where I absolutely need it. Specifically with my eyes, I like to apply it to the inner corner of my eyes and then blend that out using a brush. I'm not putting an unnecessary amount of product all over my eyes, especially underneath where I have more fine lines and wrinkles. When it comes to highlighting the rest of my face, I really like to apply the concealer to the back of my hand and then pick that up using a brush. Priming the brush is always going to disperse less product. And I just think again, with this, less is definitely more. This is not your kind of full face beat concealer. I would definitely recommend this if you were someone looking for a concealer that is perfect for every day with a minimal amount of coverage. You know, don't draw a big triangle underneath your eye because it's not gonna end well for you. It's just not great. And so for that reason, I don't recommend it. I just, unless you're looking for a good everyday, like quick concealer and you don't have too bad of under eye circles, then I recommend it. Favorite, 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 favorite mascara. Guys like believe the hype because I was really skeptical and then I was like, I just have to try it. And I got a travel size. It's $14, the full size is $26, 
but I really recommend that you buy this. This is the Lancome Lash Idol and it is bomb. It is so good. I love the wand. It has a really nice curve that can really help me get into the inner corner. Super comfortable, never flakes, never gets all over my under eye, stays in place all day long. It leaves me with long separated natural and flirty lashes, which like, what more? What more could we ask for in a mascara? Beautiful with no makeup at all, minimal makeup, beautiful or full face of makeup, absolutely beautiful. It just pulls my lashes apart. It separates them. It gives them like a sexy kind of wispy effect. The wand makes it really easy to maneuver your lashes. So sometimes, you know, when I'm wearing an eye like this, I do really like to pull the lashes out this way to kind of accentuate, you know, the cat eye. I'm going to buy the full size when I am done. Just game changing, game changing. My eyes are so dry also. I've been using a lot of like eye drops lately. I don't know what, my eyes have just been bothering me. I need to go to the eye doctor. I need to get a haircut. I need to just, I need to go to the gyno. I need to do a lot of things. All right, next, victim. They're not victims. I feel like I've been loving on a lot of them. Okay, no, because I love her. She's not even a victim. The Danessa Myricks. Am I saying that right? Let a girl know if I'm not. Color Fix Eye Cheek and Lip Cream Pigment. I have to be really honest, I have not used this on my cheeks just because it's brown. I got the shade exposed. I have not used it on my lips. Maybe we can do that right now. I hate how my lips are like separating. Eh, no, I don't like that on my lips, no. I just don't like the color. I love the color for my eyes and I bought this as a product to apply as like a quick one, two, three cream eyeshadow, just super easy, convenient, one, two, three out the door. I bought it for that. So that is what I'm reviewing it as. If you have used this on your lips, let me know down below in the comments. Did you like it? How did it last? What color do you own? Um, do you use it on the, your cheeks? I just, I bought these cream blushes and I've loved them and I haven't stopped using this one. So I just haven't, thought to use this as a blush to be quite honest but it is amazing on the eyes I will say a little goes a very long way it does dry kind of quickly so I would apply it to the lids and just blend out ASAP Rocky one thing that I really love about this cream shadow is that you can make the shade lighter by mixing it in with a little concealer which is what I'm doing here on the back of my hand and it just gives the shade a more neutral almost shadow like effect and this product really makes a beautiful eyeshadow primer. It doesn't crease if you don't use too much. If you go in and you kind of apply enough, it will crease throughout the day or throughout the night. Um, but if you just go in really lightly, light-handed, you know, it'll crease a little bit, but it won't be bad. If you're someone that has really oily eyelids, I would set it with a light dusting of translucent powder or kind of find an eyeshadow shade that would complement it or matches it. That's just my opinion. I'm not too oily because I'm a dry batch, um, so I can get away with it, but for those of you who are. Say Beauty, the Dew Blush in Peachy. I've been using my Tower 28 ones more, but this formula, Chef's Kiss, beautiful. They're $22 each. I own the shade Peachy. Originally in my first impressions video, I was like, oh, I wish I got a different color. No, I love the color that I got. I want to try more colors just because the formulation is so amazing, how thin it is, how blendable it is. It doesn't move any of the makeup underneath it. It's beautiful on a full face, a bare face, a light coverage kind of makeup faced day. It's just, this will go the distance for you. If your skin needs a juicing up, this is not as hydrating as the Tower 28 ones. The gel formula will keep you a little bit more moist. And I know no one likes that word, but I can't think juicy. Juicy, we'll go with that. What else? Did I touch upon everything in that video? Yeah, guys, that's it. Those are all of the products that I bought at the Sephora sale that I have been using on the regular. I've been playing around with these guys for 12 weeks. And I have to say there is not a single product that I'm really unhappy with. I mean, I know that I said the concealer was like whatever. It's not bad though, you know? And as always, I figured out a way to make it work. And again, if you're someone that wants to figure out how to get your makeup, 
to work in many ways or the best way for you, then do be sure to subscribe, click that bell. Let me know down below in the comments section. What did you think of this video? Do you own any of the products that I mentioned here? What is your favorite way to use them? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Whatever it is you guys wanna talk about, please be sure to leave it down below in the comments section. I had a wonderful time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.